What's going on, Guardians? Today, I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to get your light level to 400 with or without doing the raid. Alright, so we're going to be talking about 8 steps to get you to light level 400 as fast as possible. The first step, of course, is doing the raid. The raids can get you to a light level of 400. But of course, you do need a team of six to be able to complete. Okay, the second step is the Crucible. In Crucible, you can get your light level all the way to 400 just by random drops. Next up we have is the factions. So, I am currently in the Future War Cult. And this also works for Crucible, Vanguard, and all these others. But once you level those up, these give you all the way up to 390. <laughs> it's the Hive Bane. So as you can see, when I turn in this weapon, they only go to 390, even though I'm a 400. So Archon Forge can actually get you to your light level to 400 as well. Okay, see, as you can see, once I completed the event, the boss drops um, different kinds of items, depending on which character you're on. So I was just dropped a mark, which is a level 400, because I am already am a 400. And it can also drop a ghost all the way up to level 400 as well. One of the next best things is the Iron Banner. Iron Banner can get you all the way up to level 400, depending on the items that it is dropping for that time. So in this case, I was able to get these Iron Saga Greaves, and it went all the way up to level 400. This is actually the way that I got my character to 400. Okay, so let's talk about the Ingrams and how high they can get your light level. The blue Ingrams, which are the rare, can only get you up to 365 maximum. The purple Ingrams, which are legendary, can only get you a maximum of 385 light level. The exotic yellow or gold can bring you all the way up to a level 400 light level. And I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how to use these Ingrams the most efficient way to get your light level up to level 400 as fast as possible. Next up, we have the Ingrams. I'm going to start with the rare blue Ingram. So the heavy I have on right now is only a light of 343. And I'm going to turn in two blue rare Ingrams. So right now, if I'm at 343, when I turn this in, oh, I'm sorry to see that one. since my light level is 348, it should be higher. Which it is. It went up to 351. So now you just put that one on. Don't worry about infusing mm -hmm. this weapon if that's your primary one that you use. If you're going to be using this method, just encode. If it's a higher light level, put it on. Rinse and repeat. Okay, so now that this heavy is at 351, I'm going to turn in another blue rare engram. And it should be at an even higher number. Which it is. It's at 365. The 365 is the highest that the blue engrams can go. So next up, let's talk about the purple legendary engram. The way this works, it gets you up to 385. Mm -hmm. Since my light mm -hmm. level is at 389 and my chest armor is at 340 I can still get my chest armor all the way up to 385 before the legendary engrams will not work so I'm gonna give you an example right now and show you exactly what I'm talking about this might interest you 
engrams from a northern So once I turn in this engram, that looks very solid, Guardian. It should be a lot higher than what I already have, which is 340. Which it is. It went all the way up to the maximum 385, which is only because my light level is 389. So then I would just put that on. And now it's time to move on to the exotics. Okay, so now that we're going to move on to the exotics, I brought my light level down to 386. So hopefully this can show you a little bit more of what I'm explaining. My chest armor is 385 right now. So the blue rare and the purple legendary cannot get you anywhere further than where I'm at right now. So the only other option using engrams is through the exotics. So I'm going to have to turn in an exotic to be able to bring this chest piece past 385. Okay, so once I turn in this chest piece, hopefully this is close. It is going to be a lot more. It is 388. And my light level is only 386. So that's going to bring my light level up a lot. So what I would do is break down and infuse the one that I just got. Even though it is an exotic, you don't really need the shards. I have another video up that shows you how to get more shards later. So you can just break this down so you can easily... Now bring your light level up to 388. I know this is very confusing, but after you get it down, it's very simple. So let's just do a quick recap. When you're using your blue engrams, they can get you up to 365. When you're doing your purple legendaries, they can get you up to 385. And then, of course, your exotics can get you all the way up to level 400. I think the blue is the probably the easiest way to do this. Which is turning in one, if it's a higher light level, put it on, and then turn in another engram. And if it's a higher light level, put it on. And just keep doing that process over and over again until you get to 365. And then you move over to the purple legendary engrams. All the way until you get to 385. Once you get to that 385, you're going to want to move over to factions to get you to 390. After the factions get you to 390, then you wanna start using your exotics. I would not start using them until you're at least 390. All right guys, so that's pretty much the fastest way to level up your light level to 400 without doing the raids. But of course the raids are always faster. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the fastest way to get your light level to 400 if so, smash that like button, subscribe, and check out my next video. Peace.